In question 5.3, determine the general solution of cos 2x minus 7 cos x minus 3 is equal to 0. So look, that is definitely a cos double angle. We need to utilize the expansion of it. So the cos double angle expansion, there are three of them. We can use the one with just cos, the one with just sine, or the one with cos and sine. Well, look, we don't want to introduce a sign into this. We want to level the playing fields and just work with cos, right? So we're going to use the cos double angle expansion. So that's going to be 2 cos squared x minus 1. That's the expansion minus now the 7 cos x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so this portion here, that's our expansion coming straight from the formula sheet. Uh, minus 1, minus 3, that's going to be minus 4. So let's just rewrite everything again. So 2 cos squared x minus 7 cos x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We can't uh, really simplify this anymore, unfortunately, so we need to factorize it. So if you're battling, just plug this into your calculator. Um, if you've got one of those fancy posh calculators, the silver ones. Uh, alternatively, um, you can just use the quadratic formula, whereby a is equal to 2, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to negative 4. Okay, and eventually you'll get these answers. So 2 cos x plus 1 in your first bracket and then cos x minus 4 in your second bracket is equal to 0 therefore cos x that's going to be equal to negative a half or cos is equal to a positive 4. Now we know our values for sine and cos must be between negative 1 and 1. That's a must. That's an absolute must. So if it's less than negative 1 or greater than 1 our values, we declare it invalid because there is no solution. You can just write no sol. Okay, and since we are dealing with cos here, cos is positive in the first quadrant as with all the other functions as well as the fourth. And our reference angle here is going to be 120. So we can just plug it in as a plus or a minus because, well, it's positive in the first, positive in the fourth as well. So plus minus 120 degrees plus n dot 360 and n is an element of integers. Look, I know you can use k, k.360, and k is an element of integers. Remember, if you don't write it, you lose a mark, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty way to go about solving it. Okay, that's the entire question. Okay, if you're a bit confused as to how I got um, the 120, just plug into your calculator as though you're solving for x here. Shift cos, negative half, close the bracket, and that's how we got the 120. Okay, bye, love you, bye.